What is going on everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to Electronics episode number 21, and today we will be learning all about relays. We likely will not be using relays too too much throughout this series, however knowing how they work will help us learn how transistors and logic gates work in future episodes. Also, relays were used quite a bit years ago for many different applications, from telegraph machines to computers to elevators, and of course there are still many uses today for relays. A relay is essentially an electronically operated switch, and as with many of the different electronics components, relays come in many different forms that differ slightly in their function, and there are also a couple of different ways to draw a schematic symbol for a relay, but we're just going to be talking about relays in general. Of course, there are many different types of them, so let's first talk about the most basic form of relay. The single pole, single throw relay, which I have the schematic symbol for right here. And as you can tell, that sounds very familiar to a single pole, single throw switch. And if we remember that, that schematic symbol looked just like this. It's either a switch that's open or closed. And as we will soon see, a single pole, single throw relay does almost the same thing. Now there are four connection points on this relay here. There's one here, one here, and then two right over here. Now this part of the schematic symbol is your switch part. As you can tell, this is an open switch because the green bit right here is not touching each other. There is no connection, so it's an open switch. Electricity won't be flowing from this terminal to this terminal. So this is when the relay is off. Now in order to operate this switch, instead of having a human actually flip the switch and get this green part here to connect, that way we can have some connection run through here. Instead of a human doing that, what actually happens is we have electricity from a different source do that. So, if we actually run electricity through these wires right here, it will cause this switch to connect and make a connection, therefore we would have a closed switch between those two terminals there. And the way that works is actually this part right here, this squiggly line, is an electromagnet inside of the relay. Your relay actually has a little magnet inside of it. So whenever we do not run electricity through this uh, coil right here, through this magnet, the magnet is off and it's not going to attract any metal pieces. So the switch here stays apart, it stays open, therefore we don't get a connection between these two terminals right here. But once we run electricity through this electromagnet right here, the magnet powers on and it pulls these two little green bits together just like a switch being closed and it will then make a connection. So that is the most basic form of relay. We have our circuit hooked up here, that is the switch part, and to operate the switch, we just have to use electricity through this part instead of our hands. And like switches, there are different types of relays. So let's draw a quick other schematic symbol here. So we have our electromagnet coil right there. We have this line, and then this time, let's go ahead and draw a different relay. So we're gonna have switch there, another terminal here, and a little switch right here. And these are going to be three connection points instead of just two now, and we still have these two connection points right here. Now this one is going to be a single pole double throw relay, just like a single pole double throw switch. So when we aren't running electricity through the electromagnet, when the magnet is not being powered, then these two terminals right here and here are of course connected and will allow electricity to flow. But once we activate this electromagnet by running electricity through these two terminals, the magnet turns on and this will actually switch over to this terminal. So now these two terminals will be connected by the switch and electricity can run through them like there. It acts just like a single pole double throw switch and hopefully you guys remember that from our switching episode a while back. The magnet essentially just toggles this little middle piece to switch between two other terminals. And we can make this a double pole, double throw switch, so let's make this a double pole, double throw relay rather, and we can do that by just adding another set of these terminals right here. So if we draw an identical set right below them, like so, this just becomes a double pole, double throw relay. So when we activate the magnet, these two terminals become connected and these two terminals become connected. And when electricity isn't running through this electromagnet right here, then these two and these two terminals are connected. So that's pretty simple, they're essentially an electronically operated switch. So let's go ahead and design a quick little circuit with relays. Now I'm not going to design anything too complicated here, we're just going to have a battery. 
and from the negative side of the battery we are just going to go down and we will connect it to a relay like so we'll make it a single pole single throw relay how is that so we'll have our two terminals right here and relays are always drawn in their off position whenever the electromagnet isn't on that's how the schematic symbol is drawn so in this case the connection is open or it's not making a connection when the electromagnet is off and let me actually draw in that electromagnet before I forget there we are so coming out of the other terminal of the relay here we're just gonna do something really simple we will go ahead and put in a LED so that we can get some light there we go make sure that's pointing in the right direction towards the negative terminal of our battery and whenever we have an LED we are going to want a resistor in our circuit like so and I'm just going to hook this directly on up to the positive power source of our battery now if we were to build this circuit right now obviously it wouldn't work because we have an open switch here there's no electricity that will be traveling through so to get that to work and I know this is kind of a pointless example there's no real use for this but it's just to get one working in a circuit all we would have to do is pass some electricity through this electromagnet here so we'd hook one end up to the negative terminal of the battery hook the other end up to the positive terminal that would activate this little electromagnet and it would make the connection between this switch therefore electricity can flow through the LED and the LED should light up but the second we stop applying power to uh, this electromagnet the switch opens up again and the connection is broken and it will not light up now of course a relay probably wouldn't just be used this way this is just an example but once we get into building logic gates we will quickly see how these relays used to be used in computers and different applications like that so let's go ahead and just build this quick circuit on a breadboard now as you can tell already relays come in many different sizes shapes and colors here are two right here this blue one is a single pole double throw relay uh, and there's a little diagram on the bottom of it let me actually focus this here there's a little diagram on the bottom that tells me what pins go to what these two pins go to the electromagnet while this center pin and these two pins over here go to the actual switching part now for this circuit I'm just gonna go ahead and use a double pole double throw relay just because it fits in my breadboard easier uh, and we can make it work just like a single pole single throw switch easily so here I can tell from the little diagram on the bottom and again I'm sorry it's hard to see on the camera here but these two pins on the right and actually let me just do a freeze frame once I get this focused these two pins on the right here are for the electromagnet so when we run electricity through them it activates the electromagnet and it will activate the switching mechanism within now from reading the little diagram on the bottom of this relay here I can tell that these two pins are connected by default when there's no electricity running through the electromagnet and when we do run electricity through the electromagnet that becomes disconnected and these two pins connect instead and it's the same for the bottom row of three pins as well because it's a double throw relay so for this circuit because I only need two of the switching pins I'm just going to go ahead and use this pin right here and this pin right here because they are disconnected to begin with and when we run electricity through the electromagnet here they become connected this pin and this pin become connected so it'll make a connection so let me go ahead and plop this into my breadboard here first things first I have a button that is going to be hooked up to one of the terminals of the electromagnet and I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up uh, the ground or the yeah the negative terminal of my battery to the switch here and then I'm gonna hook up the positive terminal of my battery to the other little pin for the electromagnet as well that way if we press this button it should activate the relay and run electricity through the electromagnet and actually if I press it right now there is a little click that you can hear and there's a click when I release it as well and that is actually the electromagnet moving inside of the relay and getting those connections to happen sorry if you couldn't hear that on the camera too well but there is a little clicking sound being made by the relay that means the electromagnet is working so let's actually hook up a circuit to this firstly I'm going to take the uh, ground the negative portion of my power rail and connect it to that far pin on my relay there we are and then to the other pin on my relay and I'm gonna just take that out of the way for a second I'm gonna put in my resistor 
and I'll just run that over to one of the empty rows on the breadboard like so and from there I'm gonna put the shorter leg of my LED attached to the resistor and the longer leg into the positive power rail of my breadboard here and let me just put that relay back in the same exact position there we are so as you can see the LED is not being lit up because the connection is broken but if I press this button it will run electricity through the electromagnet which should operate the switching mechanism within the relay so if I press the button as you can tell the LED lights up if I release the button it turns off so there we go we activate the coil inside the electromagnet it switches the connections and makes the LED light up we release it and the connection breaks and the LED goes off now of course all relays have limits to them so you want to take a look at the data sheet make sure that you're not going to blow up your relay or anything and relays also have a very slow switching speed, so we can't activate and deactivate the electromagnet too, too fast, or else it will not work properly, and that's why different things like transistors were created, or at least part of the reason why. And we will be talking about those transistors in the next video. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.